Here we go, man. New show alert on Netflix. 13 Reasons Why. Yeah. Justin Prentice, who plays Bryce, is on the cruise show. What's up? What's up, bro? Good morning. How good are mo- you? I'm great. How are you guys doing? So listen, we're really good, dog. We're happy to have you here. Good to um, be here. So, uh, so talk to us about the show. What can you tell us without ruining it, man? It's it's amazing. I guess I could start there. Yeah. Just the whole experience. Um, yeah, I'm just I'm so thrilled to be part of a show with sure, this sure. sort of depth, you know, to get the message out there and everything. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, because it's very uh, it's very today. It is yeah. unfortunately it's what, uh, unfortunately what a lot very of students relevant. go through in high school it and is. even middle school. Well, it's you know it's changed a lot since you know even like ten years ago. Sure. So so we're excited for parents to watch it with their kids and everything to start the dialogue because yeah. it, high school has changed, bullying has changed. Yeah, you know, this whole yes. social social media it, thing, exactly. the wildfire spread of yeah. you know you Cyber. press social press a button with your thumb and then boom, you yeah. know. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And it seems a little deep. The show, it's a, well, it is, it is very deep, right? But uh, I think it's safe to watch with your with your teenagers. I, I think so. What I do you told, think, I, I, I told uh, I told Justin in the hallway. I said, "Listen, man, I'm looking at it from a completely different perspective. I mean, there's teens that are watching that, yeah. living it right now, whereas my kids a few years away from that. But it's it's very informative in that regard because we mm-hmm. use social media every day on this show, yep. and we press Heavy. send on a lot of stuff. And sometimes we'll get some flack back on it, but it's completely different when it personally affects you and it can ruin your reputation and yeah. ruin your desire to live. I mean, because it, it, when someone right, calls right. you a slut or a whore, all that other uh-huh, stuff uh-huh, when you're in high uh-huh. school, man, that devalues you so much, so quickly it, it's that it completely affects your life yes. and, and your want to have life. Right. And and that's what we're seeing in the show. So, man, from uh, from the informative side of things and the parental side of things, I want to thank you guys for doing this. I want to thank Selena Gomez for doing this yeah, because, right. I mean, dude, this is an amazing, amazing show. And that thank is... you for being very beautiful as well, Selena. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that, that's why I second that motion. Man. But, man, you're doing a lot of people a service with this show, man. And I yep. know it's entertainment and it's fun. It is. It is. It is, it is, it is, it is. It is. Man, it good. But it's good. Let's let's rewind. Mm-hmm. Uh, give us the premise of the show for those who have not watched it. They'll watch it all weekend, by the way, because <laughs> it's the show to watch. <laughs> yes. Um, so it's it's based off of the Jay Asher novel, yeah. also th- called 13 Reasons Why. Um, it's about a, a girl, Hannah Baker, who takes her own life because of the circumstances that happen in her high school. Um, and then she leaves a set of tapes. Uh, and each person in the line of tapes, one through 13, 13 yeah. reasons, has to listen to the tapes and then pass them on to the next person. And uh, eat, there are 13 reasons for why she devalued her life enough to to take it. Wow. Yeah. So what happens? You get you get this script and obviously you're like, holy crap, this is going to be a huge thing. And this is a, something that a lot of people are going through. Right. And then at what point are you like, and Selena Gomez is behind it and it's going to pretty much take over everything. Yeah, well, I, I didn't know how big it would be. I, I was hoping it would, you know, influence a few people at least um, when I first auditioned for it. Because on the breakdown it said, you know, Brian McCarthy... Brian, McCar- Brian Yorkie, Tom uh-huh. McCarthy. <laughs> it's it's so early. Uh, <laughs> Selena Gomez. So I knew just auditioning for it that it was going to be at least decent. Yeah, sure. Um, and make a few waves. But I didn't know it was going to create this kind of wake. Like, this Dude. is, yeah, I'm... I'm Thrilled, I'm ecstatic. Yeah, yeah man. And, and I told him in the hallway, I go, bro, you're such a dick in this show. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Like I told him, like straight up. But I mean, that shows the acting part of it too. And all of us kind of knew a dude like you in high school. Not necessarily to some of these circumstances that you get yourself in. Yeah. But you're the rich kid. You got a pool house. Yeah. Your boys come over, kick and smoke weed, entitled. Drink. Yeah, a little bit entitled Very right much there. So. And and yeah. and you had your little crew of people. Everybody knows someone like you, and I think that's why the show is so quick to connect with a lot of people because right. we, no matter when you went to high school. Cool. These social groups that we see are pan- you guys nail it, you know, and mm-hmm. they still exist. Yeah, they do. Yeah, Facts. even more, yeah, right? Even yeah. More was so there now. was there was there a tough episode to film? Yeah, uh, the last like four or five from like tape seven eight ish on you're not mm-hmm. there yet was no was pretty difficult. <laughs> really, that's all. I, I yeah, I won't say any more than that. I guess just to... well, but why? Why was it difficult? Um. There's there's some dark topics that are covered and yeah. um and one of the things that I love about the show is that it it doesn't shy away from the dark topics. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, some shows that's do just show, because yeah. of network and whatnot. So that's one of the things that I love about being on Netflix is that there's you know kind of artistic freedom to yeah. tell the story. Yeah, Basically, no rules, right? Yeah, which is awesome. Yeah. And so they get to get in. They really sink their teeth into these these deep issues which need to be addressed. And yeah. and sometimes they're uncomfortable to watch. Sure, but sure. but that's life. I mean, mm-hmm. people go through this stuff in high school. Were you bullied in high school? Uh, I was homeschooled, so yeah. Oh, you were bullied by your parents. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> love, love you, mom, but, <laughs> but <geez>. man, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I was uh, I was already out here acting, so I I 
was doing homeschool so I could My man. graduate early. Yeah, right. Yeah, man. Focus Do you on have uh, a lot of teenagers walking up to you and asking you questions about the show, maybe thanking you for the show or any advice? You know, I. I don't leave my house a whole lot, so, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm kind of a hermit. I just I stay in. What do so. you do at home? I study. I just watch movies. Read scripts. Go over the, yeah, read, read oh, scripts. Oh, you want to be a great, right? Books. You want to be a great. Yeah, I, I, ideally, yeah. I just, I, I don't know. I've always been kind of a hermit anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that's yeah. what I do. I'm Listen, boring. the show is called 13 boring. Reasons Why. <laughs> it's on Netflix. It's such a good show. I'm, I'm two it. episodes in. you got to check the show out. What Please. up, Garcia? Can we see the uh, semicolon tattoo that you and the rest of the cast I got? don't have one. You didn't get one? I don't have one. Uh -oh. It was. It, it started with just uh, Selena, Tommy, Alicia, mm -hmm. and I think Brandon's got one now. And I don't know if the others have oh, yet or not. That. At least Hannah they, tattoos, man. But Hannah, yeah. yeah, they, yeah they didn't we'll invite us. Can you draw yeah, one I'll, right draw, I'll draw yeah. one with the sharp. They didn't invite us to their tattoo session. See, so, so the cast is at Carroll uh, High School. It's a sore yeah, topic. Yeah, yeah. They're being bullies as well, yeah, right? Bullies. I'm excluded. And oh, no. <laughs> no. Is there 13 reasons why you were excluded? <laughs> yes, I'm leaving a set of tapes. And <laughs> I'm training to be a tattoo artist. I would love to. Right, let's to, get it done. To tattoo let's do it right now. Bring in a needle. Let's. She's also training to be a cage fighter, so if you want to fight, that's, that's right on. Too. While she's tattooing me. Yeah, right? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, man. Listen, again, 13 Reasons Why. The show is insane. I'm, I'm only two episodes in. I got to catch the rest. Um, but it is the show to watch. Last night I was up till 1 o'clock in the morning. And I got to be here super early. You know what I mean? <laughs> he hasn't slept because like, he was on it. And I'm watching the show and I fell asleep to it. Yeah, that's crazy. crazy. We, had, we, were, uh, we were at the premiere the night it was released. It sure. dropped at midnight. And we woke up that next morning to people already messaging us having finished the show. Oh my god! Which is crazy. They like binge watching. It came out at midnight, and then they just stayed up for I guess thirteen well, hours they watching eating popcorn. They were doing something else. <laughs> <laughs> she, uh, uh, Diana's up. daughter, who's in here, Delaney. She Delaney. watched it twice in one weekend. Am I right? Like you watched it twice the whole in season? one weekend. Delaney, yeah. do you have any questions? That's intense. Um, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. With Uncle Jeff. Is it awkward <laughs> to film, um, like? The last two scenes. Yes. Yeah. In terms of like, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> the last two scenes of I the know. show. I'm gonna stop listening. You can, yeah. you can say whatever you want. <laughs> okay, just talk about it. The uh, the the very the the last scenes in the thirteenth episode I wasn't in, but I know they were hard for them to film. Um, and then uh, yeah, in terms of my character, the the two, I guess, crucial turning scenes and whatnot were uh, were very difficult yeah we uh we talked about it there were a lot of logistics to work through camera wise in mm -hmm. terms of what we were going to shoot how it was going to be shot which they talked to us about which was awesome mm -hmm. uh we rehearsed ahead of time to make us all more comfortable and um and they're amazing the cast crew writers directors sure producers. what was the research like um Unfor unfortunately there's a lot to research yeah. so um so yeah i did a, you know a lot of reading articles tried to keep up on on the current events we had um some psychiatrists and everything who right? i had wow. like on speed dials for for questions and whatnot which was great um That's awesome yeah alexis jones of deal. the yeah of the i am that girl movement um she's an advocate on sexual assault prevention so she goes around to all of the locker rooms for high schools and colleges yeah, and man. gives talks about preventing sexual assault so i, I talked to her a lot um the yeah. show carries a lot of responsibility wow. it, it does man. yeah and we all we all mm. wanted to make sure that we got it right and um yeah the the producers and everything made sure we had all the resources that we needed at our fingertips which was mm -hmm. awesome and the cast everybody gets along it's fun you guys the having a good time? Amazing. Oh. you know it's 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 dark subject matter for a lot sure. of it. There, there's there's some lighthearted moments yes, in yeah. the series, of course, as well. Um, but yeah, so we we all had each other's backs through it all, and then would joke when the cameras weren't rolling for lighten things up a bit, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. you almost have yeah. to yeah. to keep the that. sanity light, you know. Right. Um, for the really really dark stuff, we would kind of stay in our characters, sort of for that day, and kind of be in our own headspace. But for the other days, we would Man, joke around insane. all the time and whatnot. Yeah. How long did it take to film the show? Uh, six months. Six months. Oh, that's not that's bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, not, not, at all, not too bad. And how about a season two? Oh, uh, dog! I, I know, right? I hope Where so. Where do we go? I so hope so. Really? I I wish. 
I was lying, and and I actually knew, but I had to lie because they hadn't announced it yet. But that's not even the case. I have no idea. Just lie, they bro. Even, they just say there's a movie Tell coming. Get Selena, Selena on the phone. phone. Get Selena on the no, phone. No, Selena. I know, right? I know, right? <laughs> does Selena Make visit? It does Selena visit the set? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. She and her mother Mandy Tiffy, um had a hand throughout the whole process. I mean, they, they're the reasons that it got made to begin with because yeah. they've been doing this for oh, know, like cool. seven years now, trying to adapt it from the novel, which is amazing. So we wouldn't even be here if yeah, it weren't for them. She went through some personal stuff too, and I she guess did. the book was really inspirational to her, and that's what it. kind of motivated mm-hmm. her to get this done. Which is awesome. We hear that a lot, which is which is so fantastic. A lot of people are fans of the book, and right, and um, and it's helped a lot of people. So we hope this series kind of piggybacks off of that. Your friends and family, what do they say about the show? They're also really excited. Mm-hmm. Um, I, <laughs> so I'm, I'm from Tennessee, and uh, everyone in the South, you know, is a, it's there are a lot of tight knit communities. So they're, <laughs> they're all they're all super supportive and and watching. Um, even in the the Christian schools, which is awesome, there are a lot of Whoa. Christian private schools and whatnot. And uh, a lot of the teachers are like, I'm sure there are some f bombs and whatnot, but they're like, how yeah. do we get this in the schools? How how can we get wow. the students watching this? Which that's is awesome. a great point, man. Because they used to so, show us the dumbest crap when I was in school, like for no reason, you know. Yo, and all this all was Willy Wonka and Chocolate Factory, yeah, the or like one. Grease, you know, or Grease, something like right, that, which right? Is cool, oh, the which lessons is cool. you can learn <laughs> from. <laughs> yeah. But but in, this, in if you guys were to make a cleaned up version of this, this would be dope, man, for schools, you. No, it really would. Listen, I got a question for everybody in the room, okay? okay. Um, are students meaner in private school or in public school? What do you guys Ooh. think? What does everybody mm. think here? Garcia, I'll start with you. I, I would say private school. Yeah, uh-huh. a little bit more entitled. Yeah, right. And my private? kids went to private for a couple years, and, and yeah, the that. parents are, are meaner too. Yeah. I would yeah. Say yeah. Private the parents are private? meaner too, yeah. I don't know, man. Public school can get a, get gets very mean as well because a lot of those uh a lot of those students may come from you know, some tough backgrounds, you know, yeah, broken homes, tough backgrounds, and they're a product of their environment. I went to first yeah. to eighth pri- private school, and there was more bullying there than when I went to high school in public school. Mm-hmm. For that reason. Like, I didn't want to go to private school anymore. Is that anymore, right? So. Mm-hmm. Is that Terry's daughter? Yeah. Stop this, growing uh, up yeah, now. Yeah, this, Stop it. This is our, uh, our, our boss's assistant's daughter, uh-huh. and uh, she's in high school, and she's kind of going through it, right? You're going yeah. through it now? Yeah. I mean, it's kind of crazy because I went to a one through eighth grade private school okay. and then I had to switch in the middle of seventh grade just because of so much bullying. And mm-hmm. it was only like a class of thirty at that time. Is that right? School. Yeah. And it was the same kids that were always just trying to like come at me and everything. It was insane. And then To your face or social media? Oh my God, it was both. Oh, like oh, this one kid tried to hack my Instagram account three times. Why? Why, Why do you think that I is? mean here's the here's the other thing. Like I would have to tell the principal about it. They sure. wouldn't do anything. Like they would say, Okay, yeah, we got to like address the situation. When can like, they do something though? When something physically happens? Yeah. When it's too late. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. It's it's insane. But yeah. I mean, I go to a private high school now sure. and even then I have to switch because the high school that I go to is insanely small. Like mm-hmm. throughout the entire campus, um, ninth grade to twelfth grade, we only have like five hundred kids. Wow. So that school. class of one hundred for my freshman class yeah. is only like it's just, it's so small, and yeah. everything gets around so quickly. And you've watched the show, obviously. I've watched the show, yeah. You finished it? Um, I'm on the last episode. Okay, okay, don't ruin it for me. But it's gonna, such a I'm good show, right? I would never do that. Yeah, right? It's such a good show, though. It's, yeah. Hits it's close to home, you understand, right? It, it definitely hits close to home. I mean, I was watching it, and, like, some of the stuff just kind of, like, maybe sit back and be like, oh, my God. Like, yeah. I mean, it must have been kind of hard to, like, shoot everything. Sure, sure, especially sure. Especially for some of the actors. That and we, unfortunately, yeah. this is a very dark thing, but uh, teen suicide, that rate, I'm not sure what it is, yeah. but I'm sure it's it's major. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Astronomical. Yeah. Garcia, what were you going to say? I was going to say it was the same for my son at private school, too, because there was situations going on. And at a private school, they, they, they have more liberties than they would at a public school where it's regulated by the state and by the county and by right, the city. Right. So it's like I can see her point in that because we went through the same process where we weren't getting the results that we were asking based on those situations. You know, and it wasn't a bullying situation. It was a little bit different, but mm-hmm. the same results, you know, like, right. so I can see her her frustration. And I'm glad it helped her, man. I mean, if this show can help people like her um, and give them a little bit of hope, at least uh, if more so have their guard up, too. And yeah. Be aware. That's great, man. So job well done to everybody that's involved in the show, dude. Absolutely. Really, Thank you. They Good are amazing. They're all amazing. Yeah. Is this a trip for you? Yeah. Right? It's yeah. gotta be, right? Yeah, because this show has affected so many so soon. Right, which is beautiful. It's a beautiful thing, you know. Yeah. That was always the intention. But uh, yeah, again, I didn't know it would be this widespread so quickly. Um yeah. 
But I, that's the power of Selena Gomez, I guess. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah right. And Netflix. And Netflix. And Netflix yeah. is fire. Well, that's the platform to be on right now, I yeah. guess. Absolutely, you know? yeah. I was thrilled to be on Netflix. Well, they're like the cool kids. Yeah. 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 They are. They cool are. Kids. Yeah. yeah. What's the, it's Isn't the modern life like high school? Of, you know what I'm saying? We never get out of Netflix are beefing. Yeah, yeah, right. But Cheryl, you didn't see the show, but your girlfriend did. Yes, she And wrote, she did your homework she and, my, look, and she sent you all notes. sorts of notes. Yeah, she wrote notes. Oh, She's sure, like, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll deliver them to right. the showrunner. <laughs> she has show notes. <laughs> <laughs> Brian Yorkie, yeah. we, got a, we got a few notes on the... So they told me, hey, what, I haven't watched that, like, no episodes, and they're right. like, yo, do your homework, you watch the show, and... I, I go to sleep. I haven't been sleeping well, and uh, I talk. Okay, like, Lechero. He doesn't need your life story, bro. <laughs> 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 no, he's in. I'm kind of dealing like with it. the toe fungus at the moment. <laughs> when I was four, <laughs> like she wrote like everything about this show. Like, what did she write? Lechero, read what she wrote. Oh, that's we amazing. can't hear you. Reading. It says, uh, <laughs> Justin, they go on a date. He takes a picture of her going down the slide. The pic gets sent around. He said they had sex when they just kissed. Right. Uh, they, yeah. So it's it's a play by play. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> totally right on. So, it's so, the Cliff Notes version yeah, of exactly. the show. Exactly. 13 Reasons Why for Dummies. Like, yeah, she got me. <laughs> But I was bullied though but in high school. Were you bullied? I'm a big guy, bro. It comes with the territory, mm -hmm. big territory. Mm -hmm. So fat jokes all the time. But, but you've had dark moments. I'm sure you've had dark thoughts. I'm, so, I'm sorry, oh, dark yeah. thoughts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, I, I've, I've gone through depression per se. Like, you know, it really gets to you sometimes. But you know, during those dark times, you try to search for hope and the light, and you just get, you know, through it. And and I'm gonna watch the show, see if I can relate to some of that stuff. But yeah, being big guy, always in high school, mm -hmm. you hear fat jokes and whatnot. But. I'm all right now. I'm cool. I'm happy. You sure? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> right. Uh, right. Uh, right. Uh, sure. Let's well, take a see. minute. Hey, well, season yeah. two, man. Get at me. Let me know. Season I, two, you're in there, get right? Get at me. There you get go. at me. <laughs> actually, uh, you heard it here. It's It revolves around yeah. Season two, yeah, actually. Yeah. Uh, 13 <laughs> Reasons Why Lechero um, is on the show. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Right. Hey, it's on Netflix, man. Even if you have a bootleg, uh, bootleg Netflix account, you got to watch it. You know what I'm saying, KB? Yeah. Straight up, man. Reach out to me. I'll give you my password. I'll give yeah. you my account information. Like it. <laughs> Dude, the show is awesome. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you, guys. This for real, awesome. man. Come through awesome. anytime, man. And Thank you. Um, Thank you. I'd like for you to come back when we're done watching the show, or at least when I'm done watching the and show. And then we'll so really we talk about really it. Really get into Let's it. Let's do it. But Let's is there anything it. we missed here? Um... I think we hit a lot of good points. You're I mean, have to I saw, come yeah, back for we, yeah, we two. can't. There are a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff we can't say right now because I don't want to give anything away to you guys. But. I mean, you can. That's okay. I mean, I like the. I, I like to know the ending of movies. You know what I mean? Because I don't. He does. I'm not big into surprises. Oh, I see. Yeah, but I'm watching the there's show. And I'm like, dude, I gotta see. I gotta watch more. See what I'm stuck. Yeah, it's just, it's that good. They did a great job, and yeah. the first two are all of our directors were fantastic. But that was one of the things because he through the audition process, Tom yeah. McCarthy was in the room, and he had just won the Academy for Spotlight. Amazing! Oh man! And Brian Yorkie is a Pulitzer Prize winner and a Tony winner. So I'm walking into the audition room like, oh my gosh, oh, keep crap. it together, keep it together. I would feel so <laughs> dumb in front of them. I was just, <laughs> uh, I was, yeah, it was intense. It was intense, but. I guess I didn't screw it up too bad. Nah, yeah. you did great, yeah. man. Good work, dude. Say yeah, good job. Back. <laughs> Justin Prentice, man, he plays Bryce on uh, 13 Reasons Why, and you got to watch it on yes. Netflix. It is the show to watch. We appreciate you Thank stopping you by, man. Thank you so much. This is Woo. awesome. Thank For you. sure, man. Crew Show, Power 106.